Actually, there is no definition that we have agreed on so far as a medical community. There is no definition for asthma. The reason for that is that there are so many different kinds of uh, triggers. There are different kinds of causes. There are different kinds of responses. There are different kinds of uh, chemical substances. There are different kinds of cells, uh, structures that have been seen to be involved, that it is difficult to say this particular situation is asthma. So, uh, Cindy, you said, said reactive airways that bronchospasm, mucus production. Cool. Uh, I can say it in a general, bigger way that asthma is categorized as an obstructive disease. So, obstructive disease and the restrictive diseases, the difference between them is this, that obstructive diseases usually have, a, the patient has an issue when exhaling. So if I am the patient of some obstructive disease, COPD or asthma or some other, when I inhale, normally inhalation is fine. But on the exhalation, there is a problem. There is a difficulty during the exhalation and that causes the discomfort and the problem that the patient feels. That also causes the cough and the wheezing and the, and the dyspnea and other things. On the other hand, the restrictive lung diseases means that the lungs themselves are, I'm, I'm going to set the camera a little lower so I can actually point to my lungs and you can see them. The restrictive lung diseases is where the lungs themselves have a problem, maybe an injury or scarring or fibrosis, and lungs cannot be filled up. Imagine it is a balloon that is made up of metal. So you cannot blow air in a balloon that is made up of metal and inflated. So that is this situation with the re restrictive diseases. It is difficult to inflate the lungs in that case. So that will become a problem with inhalation. Patient cannot inhale properly. Got it? So first thing, asthma is categorized as an, a problem with the exhalation or obstructive lung disease. Secondly, now talking about the definition of asthma, I'm going to show you one of the definitions that one of the clinical uh, books has put. Paroxysmal, so we have to now be careful with each one of these and see what does it mean. Paroxysmal means intermittent. So asthma can be intermittent. Normally you say that when asthma's attacks occur, Lesser than two or up to two times a week, that is just asthma or you know simple asthma. But if these become more than two a week, or um, if the asthma type is more severe, then it can become a status asthmaticus. That also has a duration of the asthma that if it is more than two to three hours. But keep this in mind that asthma is usually paroxysmal. It is intermittent. It happens and it goes away. It is not a disease that is just continuously occurring then possibly allergic. So see, in the definition, we are calling possibly allergic. That actually means that we are not sure what exactly is the definition. So this is more of a description of asthma than the de definition of asthma. So possibly allergic. So we think it is because of allergies, because of immune system abnormality, inflammation of the airway. So of course, when the immune system comes into the mix, if it is hyperactive, so asthma is a situation where human immune system is abnormally active, mostly hyperactive. That would cause more inflammation. And I'll explain today, which is accompanied by wheezing, cough, breathlessness, and chest tightness. So again, these are descriptions. This really, you can't just look this up and say, this is a great definition. It is a, an attempt to describe. Then we say, well, mostly at night or in the morning. So a patient that has cough, wheezing, chest tightness due to possibly allergies where this disease, this problem occurs intermittently can be called asthmatic. So not a great definition. I hope you understand that. But we do not have a great definition. This is it. This is what asthma is. So then 
how do we differentiate the asthma from COPD? COPD is also obstructive disease. Asthma is also obstructive disease. Both will mean that patient has a problem when exhaling. And so what are the differences? COPD is chronic. Asthma is chronic too, but asthma has intermittency in it. COPD does not have intermittency. You cannot have a COPD patient and you say, you know what, today the patient did not have COPD and tomorrow the COPD will come back. That's not gonna happen. A COPD patient is going to have a continuous disease, progressing disease, and that will be COPD and would need continuous management. An asthmatic patient, on the other hand, will have paroxysms or have, will have attacks. So keep that in mind. Then asthma is possibly reversible. You know that the asthma that occurs in childhood age many times resolves at adult age. Many children that had asthma at childhood stages do not have asthma in the, in the adult age. My son, my younger son, had asthmatic attacks when he was uh, six, seven years of age. He doesn't have them anymore. On the other hand, when an adult becomes, uh, develops asthma, then it is usually difficult for that asthma to become resolved and go away. So the, that adult would continue to have uh, issues with asthma. So that is why it becomes chronic. That is true as well, that many were diagnosed incorrectly as well. And again, the problem is how do we diagnose? What is the right definition? But still, uh, it is seen that the children can actually grow out of asthma, while, while adults, once they develop it, they stay with the problem. Now, finally, this is really, really important. Asthma, if you can remember this much, whenever you're going to manage a patient, you will always be on the money. You would always be in the right track. And that is, please remember, asthma has three basic pathologies or three basic problems. This is the triad of issues that occur in Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.